Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video guys, we're going to talk about the five simple rules you need to follow when solo traveling Paris. So I have been getting a lot of comments on solo travelers, on if Paris is safe to solo travel. And uh, I've solo traveled Paris before, that was my first time in Paris all by myself and I came out alive and absolutely nothing happened to me. Um, but that's because I followed these five rules that I'm about to share with you. And if you're worried, if you're really worried about solo traveling Paris, I just want to let you know that actually a lot of female travelers decide to go start their solo traveling journey in Paris because it's well traveled. And it's just, there's so much information on traveling traveling the city and it's just a go-to country for solo female, female travelers for some reason. So I hope that does help you. Um, you are not alone. So before we begin, I just created a video on how to plan your trip to Paris in 2023. Seven steps you need to know to make it a reality. I'll link that above. And below make sure you check that video out and also check out my paris travel guide that i created just for you guys to make your trip planning process super easy and basically let you know what you should be doing in paris from itineraries to what to eat where to go safety tips all that jazz that's linked in the description rule number one is to be aware of pick pockets paris i i don't know if this is true but i feel like paris is like the number one city to get pickpocketed. Like, I feel like everyone has got pickpock pickpocketed before in Paris. I don't know if I was, but I seriously think that I was pickpocketed in, uh, in Paris when I went uh, a few years ago because my cell phone mysteriously disappeared. I don't know, but that's what I think happened to me. And a lot of solo travelers, a lot of travelers, uh, have been pickpocketed on the metro. You need to be very aware of who is around you when you're on the train and particularly when you're in touristy areas. Like these people, this is their profession. <laughs> I want you to understand that this is their profession and this is how they make a living. So they are professionals. So you need to be very aware of your personal belongings. So guys, don't make it complicated. If you want to get an anti-theft proof bag, I'll link a few good ones below in the description, but I've never used it. All I did was just, I'm just aware of my bag a lot more now and nothing has ever happened to me except for that time my cell, I, my cell phone disappeared. But um, yeah, be aware of pickpocketers. They're rampant in Paris. Rule number two, scammers so these scammers come in so many different ways like uh, a scam that i've seen a lot in montmartre was um people I'll, I'll put the video somewhere here overlay the video of people um doing like a fake card game on the street or the fake game with the little cup and you have to um get the missing, find the ball underneath the cup or anything along those lines. I've seen that a lot and I'm pretty sure everyone is in on it. Everyone playing the game and people who they're finding in the crowd to play the game, they're all in on it. So that's a, a scam, but that's probably an obvious scam. So yeah, there's a whole different types of, a whole bunch of different scams. There's nothing free in Paris, like the tourist capital of the world. If someone is trying to give you something for free, just be wary of that. Like, why would it be free, you know, or highly discounted? Just understand that if it's too good to be true, it's probably not true. So don't get scammed in Paris. Rule number three, and you probably think that I'm an old lady for saying this, but I've read a lot, I've seen a lot. And I knew, I know some girls that were assaulted um, because they decided to get drunk with strangers. Especially if you're a solo traveler, do not get drunk with strangers. There's a lot of people, I'm not trying to scare you or be like negative and pessimistic, but there are a lot of people that prey on solo travelers. Don't become a victim. Like if you want to go party, make sure that you're with people that you know, and then uh, you can meet new people at the bar or whatever and have fun together. But just always have someone there that has your back, you know, someone there that's um, just as aware as you are. I do not recommend partying with strangers and going 
home with strangers. And I don't recommend that as, at all. Again, especially if you're a solo traveler, I just don't think it's safe and I don't think it's worth it. Again, people prey on solo female travelers. So you decide what you want to do. But uh, again, I don't recommend getting wasted with strangers. If you want to engage with other people and be social, like if you're solo traveling, book a tour, book a class. I'll link some in the description for you. You can be around people and it can be super safe and you can have just good, of, just as good of a time. Rule number four, and it carries from rule number three, do not go home with strangers. No, just because they seem super duper nice, it doesn't matter. Do not go home with strangers. People out here are crazy. And again, they prey on solo female travelers. We've all seen, well, I haven't, because it scares me. But I know a lot of you guys have seen that documentary with Jeffrey Dahmer or Dahmer, whatever. And people are crazy. I just don't think it's worth it. Do I think every single person that goes home with a stranger and party goes back to someone's house to party with a stranger is gonna be murdered and eaten? No, I don't think so. And a lot of my friends, they've done it and nothing has ever happened to them. I'm just saying, why risk it? Okay, why risk it? I recommend you follow this rule. Have fun with people in public. You do not have to go back to their house. And rule number five, the very last rule is to try your best to blend in with the Parisians. Do not stand out. Do not make yourself a target for pickpocketing or being scammed because you're standing out. And here's some simple ways you can blend in with the rest of the Parisians. Number one, don't talk too loud. Do not talk too loud on the metro, especially. I noticed the only people talking really loud and I can immediate, immediately tell that they're Americans because of their volume are Americans. <laughs> I said I said that already. But just don't talk too loud. Don't draw attention to yourself because of your volume. The next thing is to dress like Parisian. Um, I've, I've mentioned this a lot in my videos. I don't, when I go to a new country, I dress like myself. The only thing I change is the level of like modesty I I don't when I'm in Paris I don't try to dress like a Parisian but when I when I'm telling you to dress like a Parisian I'm saying um be a lot more modest and also avoid like the vacation look like the Hawaiian t-shirts the Hawaiian shirts or the big the shirts with the big logo on it um like that says something like um I don't know I don't know, stuff with like big logos on it or something with like a big United States flag on it. I mean, be yourself, okay? Wear what you want to wear, but just be aware that the best thing you can do to stay safe in Paris is to blend in. Another way to blend in is to not look lost. Again, don't make yourself a target. Look confident, don't look lost looking around because again, there's people, there's a lot of people out there that are preying on tourists and if it, and if they see you looking around and looking lost and confused and helpless, um, you're making yourself a target. So be confident, stand up straight, and even if you don't know where you're going, pretend you do. Have your phone out and look at your Google Maps like you know what you're doing. All right, guys, so now that we went over those five rules that I, I think you should follow, all five of them, let's just talk about a few things that you should a few tools you can use to stay safe in paris the first one is you need to get travel insurance i talked about this in my last video which i recommend you watch but so i won't get into it too much but you need to have travel insurance just to protect yourself in case something goes wrong you get sick you lose your luggage your flight is delayed etc be sure to get travel insurance you can use world nomads or you can use insuremytrip.com both will be linked below the next thing you need is a international sim card now you don't need it actually i think you would benefit from it when i'm when i was in paris last um i think my t-mobile plan um offered something it was just a better deal to go with t-mobile especially since um my sister and i are on the same plan it just worked out a better deal for us but if your phone plan doesn't offer a deal that's within your budget it's so cheap just get an international sim card you can order order it right offline and have it shipped to your house and you could replace the sim card 
um, in your phone and have it, your phone ready for Paris. I'll link a company in the description below. I highly recommend them if you're ordering a SIM card. And of course, the SIM card comes with data, so you're good to go. The next thing you need to, this is not really a thing, but you need to book somewhere safe in Paris. You need to book a safe accommodation, especially if you're a solo female traveler. It doesn't matter if you're booking an Airbnb, hotel, or hostel, you need to do your research and make sure where you're staying is safe, is clean, is in a great part of town, all that jazz. And again, if it's too good to be true, it probably is. Like the Airbnb, me and my sister booked, it was like a killer deal in my favorite neighborhood, three bedrooms. It was just too good to be true, but I just gave it a shot anyway, and I should have just, yeah, I, I shouldn't have tried. <laughs> and it turned out really bad. So do your research, read the reviews, even call if you're staying in a hotel, call them up and just get the vibe, vibe of the place. And don't just rely on the reviews on the website. Google the name of the hotel and, and, and type in reviews. So, so like X hotel reviews and see what comes up. Just make sure you're booking the best place for you. And in the description, I'll link the hotel I stayed in Paris. I had such a great time. Me, my sister, and my two nieces, we had such a great time at that hotel. The staff is awesome. The breakfast is awesome. So I'll link that below if you're interested, if you need a hotel for Paris. The next thing guys, I've never tried these tools, these two tools before, but I really wanna try it on my next trip. But it's something called a, do a portable door lock. And basically what you do is you take it and you stick it in to um, the lock in the door and it stops people from coming in. It like locks it so someone can't come in. So it's pretty cool and really inexpensive. So check that out. I'll link the Amazon listing below. And the next thing you can buy, you can actually buy as a combo. As a combo is an alarm that you put on the floor. So when someone opens it, opens the door, it touches the alarm and it rings. That's pretty cool. I'll link that in the description as well. It looks pretty cool. And I think that it helped me sleep way better at night. I can't wait to try that out when, I, when I'm traveling again. So if you're a nervous solo traveler, definitely invest in these tools. They're less than $20. I'll take both, I think they're about $15 together. I'll link that in the description below. So guys, I really hope this video was helpful to you. So is power safe for solo travelers? I say yes. Just follow those simple five rules and some common sense. Be aware of your surroundings and just prepare yourself to solo travel and you're good to go. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments below and I'll be sure to answer. And of course, be sure to check out my travel guide that's in the description as well. Bye.